Yo guys, what is up? This is Scalbers from India Lobes coming back at you again with another Discord.py episode. Today, episode 27, we're making a warn command. Highly requested, highly sought after, now it's here. Anyway, before that, we got a video from our sponsor, Oxide Hosting. Go check it out, and uh, I'll see you in two seconds time. For me at least. For you, might be about 30. Adios. Today's video is proudly powered by our partner, Oxide Hosting. Get your products hosted by them with their cheap, reliable services. So what are you waiting for? Check them out in the description below. Sweet. Now that you've seen our brilliant sponsor, let's dive into our WARN command. Now, I've already got the cog set up, so we're going to be needing Discord, the commands framework naturally, and we're also going to be needing our pagination class. That's for our WARNs later on when we want to showcase them. That might be in a little part 2 of this episode. But, let's dive into it. So straight up, we're going to make a command. Wow, I know. Anyway, let's make a command called commands.command, and then we're going to go limit it to a guild. And then, well, I'm going to put a role check behind this, um, but you could do permissions as well. Yeah. But I'm just going to put it behind a role. The idea being you've got your staff team, so like, if they've got a mod role, it works. Uh, so we're just going to go at commands. So it has underscore role and we're going to give it an ID. Uh, what's the ID of my role? Uh, because if I go any higher, I can't actually show you guys how to use the command. You know, we've got ASIC death warn. Open it up with itself, a CTX. We're going to take a member. We're going to type in that to discord.member. Wow. And then anyway, let's take the reason for the warn. And that's pretty much it. Now, I do want to add a nice little sanity check in here. Uh, you know, because you don't want to like warn yourself or the bot. So we're going to go if member.id is in a list of ctx dot, <coughs> ctx dot, not ctx bracket, ctx dot author dot id, and then we're also going to go self dot bot dot user dot id. So you can't warn yourself and you also can't warn your bot. And if you are doing that, we're just going to return await ctx dot send. Look, mate, you can't warn yourself. Now moving on, let's get into the actual content for this. We're going to be needing a couple of things here, so hear me out. We're going to be needing a database document. <laughs> you should have seen that one coming, let's be honest there guys. Anyway, I made a bot.warns. You can just copy this line here. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. We've been doing it for like five episodes now. Anyway, now that we've got that, we're going to want to go ahead and get the current warn length. So basically this is, sorry, length, I mean count. This is basically just counting how many, um, you know, wants they already have, so we can give them one extra. Now, this is going to be using something we've changed. So, you might notice this Mongo.py file, well, it looks exactly the same from your point of view, but from my point of view, it's changed. We've now got upset and update and all of this stuff by ID and also by custom. So, basically, the way this works is... It updates everything by a custom filter, so rather than only working off the ID field, it's also going to work off whatever we give it, and that's good because I want to be able to like filter things by the user's ID, the guild ID, and you know also possibly by the current worn count. Anyway, they exist now. This will be on the GitHub. I'm not going to go over the changes. You can look through them and compare them for yourself if you want to. You know, let's dive back into it. It's going to go call length, and we're going to go await self dot bot dot warns dot find underscore many custom and then what do we give this we just have to give this a nice little dictionary now this is going to get really messy so i'm going to press enter a couple times and now it's a lot nicer anyway let's give it this dictionary stop messing around so the user id is just going to be member dot id and then we're also going to filter it by the guild's ID. And so that's just ctx.guild.id. Uh, Although, for our sake, keep it, you know, continuity in that. We'll, uh, we'll go with member, because, you know, you could, you could theoretically do some bad stuff with that if we uh, don't do it the right way around. And then after that, I just want to go ahead and we're just going to put a plus one on here. Because the current warn count, you know, the one we're meant to be using, should not be the same as the current highest count. Anyway, that's that done. 
Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to make two more dictionaries. And those dictionaries are going to serve a couple different purposes. The first one is going to be our filter. So it's going to be called one filter, a dictionary, you know, as you do. Basically just copy this one across, to be honest with you. Um, except we do also need to filter by number. Then we're just going to go and head and put current warn count. And then we're going to go warn underscore data is also a dictionary, believe it or not. And the reason for the warn goes in here. We're going to put the timestamp. So when the warn happened, that's just going to be ctx.message.created underscore at. And then we're just going to put warned underscore by, and that's just going to be our ctx.author.id. Anyway, let's go ahead and, you know, put that in the database. Because otherwise, what point is it serving us? So we're going to go ahead and go wait self.bot.warns, and we're going to go ahead and use that new method we made earlier on with upset underscore custom. And then we're just going to give it a warn filter and also the warn data. You might notice with uh, the regular upsert, you just give it one dictionary. Um, that's because when you're upserting by ID, uh, that's a static field. We can pop the ID out no matter what. But when it's upsetting by custom, you don't know what to pop it off. So this way you just have to do it manually. Anyway, that works out all good. And now that we've got this in the database, let's tell the war user they're actually being warned and to stop doing what they're doing. So embed equals discord dot embed. Title is going to be equal to You are being warned. Not going to description. Going to be equal to a nice little docky boy, like so. And then, actually, you know, I'm not feeling that at the moment. Let's just go with the standard F string. And it's just going to be boom boom. Reason. Put a new line character in there. Put the reason in there. And. I think for now that's going to be good enough. And then we're going to set a color, you know, just Discord dot color dot red. Might go with dark red later on as well, make it a bit more sinister. Anyway, and let's just set the timestamp so you know for uh, continuity sake they can't just you know hit up your moderation team and be like, hey man, you you warned me like last week, it's gone away because the timestamp's going to say no man, it was 20 minutes ago. Anyway, embed dot set underscore author. Is going to be set to the guild. That way, if you're in multiple guilds, uh, you know, you're not just going to be sitting there like, gosh, I'm in this bot with multiple guilds. Who's <laughs> who's warned me and where? So this just removes that ambiguity, and we're just going to set this to the icon URL. And then, you know, I also want to set the footer. Now, Ethan, you might be asking, are we going to put the person that warned them in there? Oh, no, we're not. Because, you know, that's your know, privacy. They don't need to know who on the mod teams executed the command. So what are we going to do? We're going to go embed, set, underscore footer. And we're just going to put the text as equal to warn. And then we're just going to put current warn number. So that's basically it. Now we're just going to tell the user. You know. So we're going to go try. And then we're going to go await. Member. Dot send. Embed equals embed. And then we can send in the channel, like cpx.send warned that user in DMs. Now we did have a try accept here, so we're going to go accept discord.http exception. And then failing that, this basically means, hey look man, but we can't DM the user, you know, they've got their DMs blocked, their DMs turned off, whatever. So that failed, so we're just going to send it in the main chat, we're going to go member.mention. And then we're also just going to go embed, embed. Yeah, it should be good to go. If I run the bot, does it start? It does start, would you look at that? Anyway, let's go in here. Uh, let's go help. Warn. Warn member reason. Warn. At it's Dave. Or not the true Dave. That's not good. It hasn't said anything. That, that's the problem, guys. What do we do here? Open up console. Unhashable type. Dictionary. Alright. 
let's take a minute here. Let's look at this. <laughs> it's because we've got a dictionary of a dictionary. So what do we do here? We make it not a dictionary of a dictionary. That way it's just one dictionary. And we restart the file. And we can go ahead and go warn, edit Dave. You are not the true Dave. On that user in DMs. Now I can't show you that because you know it's a separate device, separate account, all that jazz. So the way I'm going to show this is by removing the sanity check we have at the start by simply commenting it out. Let's run the bot and now I can warn myself. We're gonna go warn at Skelmers and what are we gonna do? We are gonna just say test. Send me DM. It's warn it's warn that user in DMs. Being your doc's headquarters, you are being warned. Reason? Test. Wow. The source. I, I can't believe it. I, I truly can't believe it. But what if someone's got their privacy settings off, you know, we don't allow direct messages from the server. We just go warn. And it's another god of the 421. Another. Test. And what happens? It sends it here because, you know, they failed to send it in DMs. Anyway, that's it for this little warn episode. That's going to be it for now. I'm going to make another little sub episode off the back of this, which is going to show you guys how to display the warnings for users in a nice paginated session. So stick around tomorrow for that. Anyway, uh, we'll just re enable this and, you know, just show it works, you know, proof of concept, all of that jazz. And we're going to get a warn at, uh, at Menu Dogs by your bot. Now, you cannot warn yourself with a bot. Anyway. It's been nice chatting to you guys, nice showing you guys how to do this. And I'll see you in the next part 2 of episode 27, 27.2, if it would be. And I'll show you how to show ones then. Anyway guys, peace out.